Hey there guys, what's going on? This is BuzzTech here and today I am with you guys this brand new video and this is actually a tutorial. I know I haven't made a tutorial like in 3 months but now I'm back with some tutorials, yeah. And in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys on how you can render faster in Sony Vegas Pro 12, 11 or 13, whichever version you are using. So let's get started. So first of all, open your Sony Vegas Pro. I have Sony Vegas Pro 11 right now and this is how it looks like. So once you open Sony Vegas Pro, go ahead and import all your files, edit all the files and once you are done with that, now it's the time to render. But before rendering, first of all go over here in the property tabs, I mean the property uh, project properties and once you're over here, make sure you're using a 720p template or you can even use a 1080p template and uh, you can choose uh, the 30 fps frame rate or 60 fps if you want whichever version you want you can use one and over here make sure the field order is set to non-progressive scan and pixel aspect ratio is set to 1 and let this be as it is pixel format to 8 bit full resolution rendering quality to good now this uh, the bet now there is not much difference between best and good so don't worry the video will be of good quality only so put it to good now motion blur type gaussian now this is the main part okay de interlace method put it to none it will be on blend field or interpolate fields because if these are set on blend fields now if it's set to blend fields it will take a lot of time to render so be sure to put it to none because there is no need to de interlace a video for online videos okay so once you're done with that go to your go to audio tab and over here copy down the settings like 48 sample rate to be 48,000 bit rate to be 16 and resample and stretch quality to good if you wanted to put it to best you can put it but I'm setting it to good okay once you're done with that click on apply and click on ok so once you're done with that, now is this, now the second tip I would like to give you guys is be sure to close this off once when you are going to render so that you know it takes uh, you know it takes a lot of time to actually for pro for your processor to even do the rendering and over oh, also over here to play back this stuff over here. So close this by clicking on this X over here close. And once you're done with that, now select the whole project and go to file render as and uh, make sure you have saved the project okay so that's important right if something goes wrong with rendering you can just screw it back now once you're done with that you can put in your name and whatever you want where you want to save it okay and now the main part comes over here that many people choose the output format as main concept avc slash aac that is mp4 format now this format actually sucks at rendering because this is not made by sony this format and this concept is not made by sony so it will definitely take a longer time to render with this but there is another format which is mp4 and which can render you at a quick, pretty quick speed so that is the sony avc mvc and it is dot mp4 and uh, that's actually rendering pretty fast i use that format and that's amazing because that's made by sony and definitely that's actually made for sony vegas and so that's why it will render faster so yeah and once you scroll down you will see there is this option sony's memory stick sd ntsc customized template after you clicking that customized template over here in the video format click on this and put it to avc now here you will see uh this profile put it to uh, 1920 into 720 and put the profile uh now don't check this box and go here put this to main don't put it to high it will take a lot of time to render but if you want you can go with it but put it to main now entropy coding should be on default to cabac now frame rate you can choose 30 fps or 60 fps if you want i will put it to 30 fps now in the field order put it to non-progressive scan now if you put it to upper field first it will definitely take a longer time to render now over here in the pixel aspect you can put it to 1 because we chose 1 in the project settings now bitrate now i have put in a link in the description you can go check it out it's an article 
are posted by YouTube on which bitrate you should use for a particular format like for if you're using frame size 720p then you can use a frame rate of 6000000 and or you can use like 10 triple zero triple zero for uh well, 1080p format okay and encode mode you can put it to gpu if available or i'm using render using cpu only audio you should go with this format but i will just put it put put the bps to 384 that's what's that is what the actual uh recommendation is by youtube and system put it to mp4 make sure this is to mp4 okay and project put the rendering quality to, to good and click on ok and then click on ok now there is an, another now after it's done you will definitely see a real, really faster render with your sony vegas now if you want to speed up your render even more you can go to uh, uh task manager by control shift escape you will have your task manager open now this is how the task manager look likes on windows 10 and windows 8.1 and windows 8 now it is different on windows 7 so be sure you do this properly but it's the similar steps it has the similar steps okay and first of all you have to go to details and scroll down to uh, find vegas 110.exe you will have vegas 130 or 120 if you are using vegas 13 or 12 respectively and over here you can see the memory used by it by for the processor you can right click on this and go to set priority and put it to high and definitely it will help you render way more faster so yeah guys that's it with this video if you did enjoy this video be sure to drop a like let's see if you can hit 30 likes that would be amazing and be sure to comment down below and let me know how this tutorial turned out for you so yeah guys thanks for watching bye bye and i will see you in my next video